What vehicles will we use for transportation in the future? Well, this is one of the important questions at the Transport and Roads Division. This is a hugely exciting area that affects us all in society. What the transport system of the future will look like. We already know that our travel patterns of today are not sustainable in the long term and that much has to be done to reach our climate targets and to make our towns and cities more attractive and less congested places. I work at the Transport and Roads Division at the Faculty of Engineering. I teach and research on how we use today's transport system, but perhaps more especially what the future transport system could look like. My research focuses a lot on how the planning of transport systems in cities could be changed so as to encourage more people to walk and cycle and take public transport. Our research has shown, for example, that the route is highly important for cycling. It doesn't help if we have good cycle paths which only run for part of the way. They have to run all the way from A to B. This is important in order to make cycling attractive. But as another example of how planning must change, we can also look at our town shopping centres. Today, these are planned for the car, with good access for the car as a norm. But a cyclist must often instead travel in a roundabout way to find bike parking, which is usually situated at the back of the shopping centre. Perhaps it's even worse for a public transport passenger, who has to get off at a stop far away from the shops and then find their way through the parked cars to get to the entrance. And this just shows how we must increase the quality and the attractiveness of other modes aside from the car so that we can also choose these when going to, for example, an out-of-town shopping centre. This could also be seen as a question of fairness, as even those without a car should be able to get to shops and other activities by another mode which is just as convenient. Even more important is the proportion of young people today who are choosing not to get a driving licence. This proportion is increasing fast, and if we don't wish to force them into a car-dominated society in future, we have to give them good pedestrian and cycling access in addition to access for the car. Our lab is today's transport system. We go out and we look at how people use transport today, we study behaviour, we measure speeds, we do interviews. All of this is done to find out how people use the transport system today, and in particular, what is needed for us to change our travel behaviour in the future.